World Cup. Say OJ one yellow card. The fine is ten thousand dollars. One yellow card. Yeah, gee, yes, yes. One yellow card, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> wow. You know, eight yellow cards in the competition. You what do it means is that eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollars. Yes, a guy, a boy. You know, from from bookings alone. Mm. Luckily, you play a be in your red card. Yeah. Red card is about fifteen thousand or so dollars per card. See if all this kind of man, you are quite open for quite a bit. I always say, I'm not here. Even, 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 quite when it comes to. Wait, my boy, Black Stars. I was born ready, so I'm always ready. Wait, my boy, Black Stars. Don't want to wait, my boy, Pepe, Pepe. I'll watch him be more crap. Why not wait, my boy, Jen? Hey, you're Cassiopoli. Where you're Ganiopoli? Ganiopoli, you know. You're dying, huh? Now, you're about to see. To be online with me and ask ourselves if Ghanaians are truly interested in the things that we preach to be interested in. It's simple. Make our English energy so that even people in Ghana won't teach you. By virtue, say we speak English as our official language, they will understand. So I'll mix it. But more um, um, substantially in English. Just for this se section. So we are a football nation. Everyone knows that. That is what we call ourselves, mm -hmm. Ghanaians. One of the few African countries to have gotten closer to the World Cup trophy and four times to the World Cup. Four in the last five editions. Especially when the tournament had become very lucrative. We have gone to four World Cups in the last five in the periods when the tournament has become very, very lucrative. One of our biggest problems is funding. So when we invest in the worker, there are other issues that we get beyond the social interests from the worker, beyond the enjoyment, beyond the fun, beyond the recreation. It is more of finances and revenue generation. It is one of the most lucrative businesses, football. And thank God, by comparative advantage, we are ahead of many countries in the world. It is, in fact, one area, football is, in fact, one area that Ghana can say we can sleep and wake up and still be on the tracks and compete. If you understand me, football is one of the few areas in the world, not economy, not, not, not about any other sector, not engineering, not automobiles, not manufacturing, not even a Greek. But in football, it's one of the few areas that we can say we will sleep. When we wake up, we can join the race and still compete and make an impact. Thank God for talent. We have been to four World Cups and we, we've made close to $50 million in prize money alone. I'm not talking about the money that people have paid to come to the stadium to watch the team. As for that, nobody knows what, where that goes. Till today, nobody knows where the money that we get when the Black Stars play, the tickets that we sell. Nobody knows where that money goes. Forget about all the qualifiers we play and what government. It is the role of government to invest in sports as any other area or sector of the economy. It is a responsibility of government to invest in football and sports. From the four World Cups, We've made close to $50 million. But my interest is in the current World Cup, the, the recent World Cup. In 2010, when we made around $40 million. In 2010, when we made around $40 million. The Minister for Youth and Sports, Akuya Sena Dansua, and the GFA president agreed that they will build a three-star hotel from the World Cup proceeds so that the hotel can accommodate the hotel can accommodate be the camping base 
for Black Stars and all the national teams because we don't have any such facility to accommodate our players. So they have to hire hotel. We have to go to hotel, rent hotels when the Black Stars come. After all the years, 67 years of playing football professionally. That didn't materialize. We don't know where that three-star hotel from the $4 million, $40 million is. We don't know. How many years now? 13, 13 years. The hotel was not done. The money, nobody knows. 2006 World Cup, we made around $8 million. Nobody knows what that money was used for. At the end of the day, we share it amongst individuals and the rest, yes, a consolidated funds. Nobody knows. In 2014, we made around $11.5 million from the World Cup. Nobody knows where that money is. Then, 2022, we've gone to make around $12 million. Then we say, some of it, hey, training. So we made $10.5 million. Then we have paid individuals, people who went to the World Cup for two weeks, nine days, 10 days, 10 days, $100,000. So if you calculate $100,000 times 10, it's like $1 million plus players. So we have spent. Where is the rest of the money? I've, I've, I've spoken and written to the requisite ministries and GFE. They have told me the money has been transferred into the account of the GFE. It's like how many months? Almost, Almost eight months. Yeah. Okay, we knew as far back as 2022, March 29th, when we beat Nigeria in Abuja, that day we knew how much you get from the World Cup, just going there, because the World Cup, they had published the revenue, the prize money, years before. So we knew on the 29th of March, at exactly 9 p.m. in Abuja, that we will get 12 million preparation fee and prize money. Just by playing in the group stages. So we knew as far back as March 2002. We are in November 2023. So we don't know what else we are using the money for. Just like happened in the past. I will go to Morocco tomorrow. But let me start from Senegal. Okay. Senegal, just like Ghana. So almost so almost call group stage yeah. in Qatar. Oh? Yeah, group stage. The Senegalese Football Association, they have announced how much they got from the World Cup. Full! Okay. The Oman TBM film said preparation fee. And Oman TBM film so much for them, for yeah, players. Yes. That is the responsibility of the FA and government. Okay. So this is the president of the Senegal, FA. Omudu run of 16. Omudu run round 16. Yeah. England, the year of England, So they went a step further. Yeah. Augustine Senghor is the president of Senegal. Senegal, World Cup fans, you know, a buy, you know, 14 million. The Senegal, FA, took the accounts of these entities. 1.2 million of the money is going to the National League. Okay. They have shared the money to all these entities. So Senegal bought World Cup. So listen to me clearly. Mm -hmm. They thought, say, we have gone to the World Cup. The money that we are getting from the World Cup is supposed to be reinvested into the game because that is the aim of FIFA. Okay. For the sustainability of it. Not individuals. Not who? Individuals. individuals. The Senegal FA has taken $1.2 million. Listen. Mm -hmm. To invest in the National League. Okay. Into a more club, 16, no more National League, you know. They are going to share $1.2 million. And I said the league board will decide which areas... And there were weaknesses that we think we can use the 1.2 million okay. to fix. Okay. So this is it. Senegal World Cup fans, you know, 1.2 mm -hmm. million is going to who? The National The League. National League. Okay. Okay. Then the League Two. Mm -hmm. 
Omo benya um, four thousand five hundred sefa. So the league one no adi omo diye. Okay. League two no so four thousand five hundred sefa. No four point five million sefa. Oh, okay. Four point five million sefa. The division two league in Senegal. Division two league in Senegal. Mm -hmm. They will get three point five million sefa. Hey. The National Women's League, they have already taken 2.5 million safer. Okay. Omu league in your League 1, League 2, and your National League 1, and National League 2. So, your Premier League and your Division 1. And your Division, I can't remember if say Division 2, no? Okay. And almost sign your Regional Leagues. Or much I'm a beard Regional Leagues, and so that is Division 3. Okay. Division 3. And the Women's League, you know, so what? 2.5 million safer. Wow. Women's Division 1, 2 million safer. Women's Division 2, 1 million safer. Beach soccer, 5 million safer. Walk up, see, can match three mm. months ago. Regional leagues, regional clubs, or more, okay. more Division 3, Division 4, ni coast, mm -hmm. 1 million safer. National Organization for the Coordination of Activities. That is, they are under sports. Okay. And the National Sports Activities. Okay. Yes. Omunya, um, 3 million sefa. Senegal. 750,000 sefa. Of course, Senegal Association of Sports Management. That is the Coaches Association of Senegal. Oh, wow. The Coaches Association of Senegal. They will get 750,000 safer. Go into the accounts to tell them, say, the World Cup that we qualified for, it is because of the involvement. And Munina, all of you, the Coaches Association of Senegal, hmm. the Sports Festival Organization of Senegal, okay. they got 3 million. Beach soccer, regional youth teams. Then they come to association of football educators and coaches so there is coaches association mm. then there is PE teachers okay national coaches association of ghana that is what is it then there is PE teachers association so the national coaches association of senegal association of sports managers they got seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars from mm. the worker fans yeah then PE teachers sports instructors they also got 750,000 safer from the World Cup fans. Okay. Association of International Footballers. That is Ghana, Tony Bafo, the NOF, from saying PFAG. So the Footballers Association Union, they also got 750,000 what? Safer. National Association of uh, Press, Journalists, Sports hey. Press. <laughs> Senegal swag here in Ghana we call it swag sports okay. writers association in Senegal the World Cup fans mm -hmm. in Senegal the World Cup fans press sports sports journalists association 750,000 sefa hey. Senegal Federation of Labor Sports 750,000 sefa Senegal disabled sports, 750,000 safer. It is Sadio Mane and group who qualify for the World Cup. But the Sports Ministry and Football Association in Senegal feel that it is because of the involvement of PE instructors who train the likes of Sadio Mane in primary school. Yeah. It is because of the involvement of the sports press journalists who promoted our games, who continue to make the game attractive. So let's put a seed money in the association. It's almost here. Yeah, then let's go to the National Coaches Association. When we hire them, we pay them. Ali, you see, say, and co. But the union coaches, you know, when they need help, when they need to buy a car for their travels, they all in, get involved in the running of football. Mm. So we have to give them 1.5 million CIFA. From the World Cup money. Okay. They have shared it to Division 2 clubs and regional clubs. That is Division 3 and Coast in Ghana. So the National League got $1.2 million. 
then all the other if you put that together it's running into three million dollars shared amongst these associations that is the first part all this they have got their money four months three months back women's football everyone Division and the Division regional Division. leagues the coast regional leagues everyone they've gotten their money and they will show you what to use their money for let me come to this mm -hmm. If you are in Ghana and we continue to say every day, Ghana is this, Ghana is that. <laughs> so the next one is this. Mm -hmm. After sharing this money, Senegal have also announced that they are going to invest for the training and accommodation center for young footballers. Wow. Let's check it out. There is a village in the middle of Senegal called Bubab Jalau, a small village. Okay. The FA, in conjunction with government, has set up these facilities that you are watching for young footballers. This is one. Part of the World Cup money is going for the upgrade of this. Ooh. Put all the pictures on there. These are facilities in Senegal built by FA and government for, for camping, training base of young footballers. It is named after Jules Bukande, former Senegal striker. Nifi Chanisi Ono. Pacho Munja Nisiso. This is the Jules Bukande Sports Development Center. Francois Bukande, okay. former Senegal striker. Yeah. They built this and they are going to renovate this facility. So this is the first one. Mm -hmm. Part of the money, you know, like $3 million, is going for the upgrade of this yeah. facility into international standard. This is where their national team players from the middle of the country, you know, they come. Oh, wow. Let's go to the southern sector. The previous one, southern sector. They have built this facility. It is also called Yusuf and DIA Center. Oh, okay. It is for the camping of coaches and young footballers. This is what Senegal, they are using football money to do. The same World Cup money. And... They have said, say, another five million dollars is going into the reconstruction of the federal stadium with additional support from FIFA forward. Mm. This is it. This is the training center. I will come to the stadium first. Let's go through every picture of the training center. Omu um, three training centers for kids. And to the children in the middle belt of Senegal, they don't have to come to Pram Pram in Accra. Or oh, in, wow. in Dakar. Okay. They have Jubab Jalau. It is a small village and they have identified and built this facility. So the children from the northern belt of Senegal, mm -hmm. middle belt, southern belt, everyone has a training center. They are trying to replicate the Clan Fontaine system in France. So women's football, men's football, they have a camping base in three centers in the country. And they are building more from the World Cup fans. So this is Senegal FA president and his team inspecting the Yusuf and Diaye training center in Jubab Jalau, built from World Cup money and it built from government funding and the FA. And you are one and work as a pram pram. So this is Senegal, what they are doing with the money. Roll up the pictures for me from the center and look at the facilities that they have put up there. This is another one. Hmm. The red color is another paint. This is another one. Uh, Benji, I think I have more pictures for you. So we'll be to me put all that together for me. Seats are uh, inside. The seats are uh, inside for the kids. The red seats is like an executive. This is the children's training center. Wow. Hmm. World Cup money. Yeah, we are talking about Senegal. They are going to reinvest $5 million into the federal uh, stadium. Okay. Do you know, sir, Senegal, our federal stadium, it is a cross sports stadium. And on a more called Yusuzi Canada, I reinvest it. Okay. But almost see an ultra modern, when you find ultra modern, a futuristic stadium. I would dear me and do. Young Connie and the new stadium that they have built. 
and now going to use the World Cup money to renovate their original national stadium. So they have a national stadium now. Okay. But they have an original national stadium, which they are going to use 4.5 to $5 million from the World Cup money to renovate so that they have two international stadia or Dakar. The Amniando and then the, the one that was the original stadium. So this is their new stadium. National one. This is the national new national stadium. Okay. This is the new national stadium. Almost here, one year, almost be in one year, Kramba. This is where they play their last World Cup qualifying game against Egypt or McCoy. This is Senegal. They have this stadium, and they are mm. going to invest World Cup money, five million dollars, into the reinvestment, reconstruction of the national original national stadium. Already, they have shared the money to the extent that even sports coaches, PE teachers, coast clubs in the country have gotten some of the money. And this is a country that we have been to more World Cups than. Yeah. Omakotre. Omakotre, in the first one, okay, the 2002. 2002. And the year 2006, 2010, 2014, 2022. Oh, no. So they are going to put $5 million into the reconstruction of their original national stadium. This one that they built last year or last two years, you know, they opened last two years. You know, that is the, the new... This is the current stadium, but they are going to put up another. So the World Cup money, you know where it is going because including the sports journalists have gotten their share. Yeah. Footballers Association of Senegal, they have gotten their money. PE teachers. PE teachers, they have gotten their money. Sports festival, they have gotten money. B soccer, six million safer. Would your father say a swap? At least. Oma Chamo Bien who says a co walk up bar, we will all be beneficiaries, not a few individuals in the name of management committee, in the name of this, in the name of that, in the name of this. Then we share the money amongst a few individuals to put up mansions when our kids who play football sleep in mosquito and scorpion infested center. Since 2006, we have used our math. To use the FUFA money to build ultra modern. We have not seen a single. Ghana is becoming a village. Oh. If you don't travel, you would think that Ghana is some country. I'm telling you for a fact. Even East Africa, even Cote d'Ivoire. If you step down, we will say Ghana. Especially in terms of sports, we are joking. We are behind Senegal. We are behind Tanzania. We are behind Uganda. Even we Canada. are behind Zambia. Mauritania. Corruption, no corruption. The avarice. People want to get money for themselves. I'm telling you, Senegal have gone to the World Cup. We went to the same World Cup with them. They have come back to share their money to every other industry player. I'm not lying to you. You, you all of you can Google. Call anybody you know in Senegal. Sports Journalists Association. PE Instructors Association. B Soccer. Women's Division 2. Women's yeah. Division 1, Premier League, obeying a World Cup money, and then $5 million for the reconstruction of their original national stadium. When they have this stadium, we a big in Spain. We Barcelona and Real Madrid stadium near a few ones. We have a few ones. We have a standard, world class stadium. England Premier League class in the they cannot compare to this Senegal stadium. But the World Cup money is going to be reinvested. After that, they have built three national training centers and named it after Jules Bukande. Thank you, Bessie, a complex. Near after the Abedi Pele complex. You name it. You call World Cup near two hundred thousand dollars. Near two hundred thousand dollars. I'm an individual. I bet we are not four million dollars. I call good nipper be bottom. Should you Senegal for it? The same World Cup that we went. Mm -hmm. But if we don't travel every day, Ghana is the gateway. Look, we are becoming a village. I don't want to tell you what. I went to Morocco. Mm -hmm. I have that interview here. Yeah. We've played it. How they are using their World Cup money. I'm showing you what Senegal. I want to hear in French. In Tavia, you don't read. Show them the pictures of the training complex for kids under 14, under 13. Three of them. Yes, sir. Three. So they have built complexes. 
ewo daka ewo jubab talao omu sibio three ni now with world cup man ni now with sika from football the second one no is in a village uh, i'm coming okay. those of you who want to go go the new one no it is in a village called gurewo this is where they have they are building all the centers to accommodate kids national team kids for free free ghana hmm. ghana Bet ghana Bet if we don't stop the biana ya kwaje walk up si kan bae no ya say da ho gf ajis ka no e da o ma count mba o mo twa the ministry be ka ada na mo nim de mo discan be ya ansa na ye de fifa tue scan the same day senegal for start work they have shared to everyone who deserves not a man let me tell you something ghana ko walk up Abba. Yakofa Obia, you cannot point to one investment in sports. Papa Nana or a friend is saying, customs are Okonya case with La Bianca and a friend is saying, Black Summit Men Committee. Kenel Damwa, Kenel, I respect you for everything you've done. But Kenel, listen to me. Kenel Damwa with everything that he's had as the head of customs. Sika Wanya Obia Seno. You make Canada more Black Star Management Committee member. Few months to the World Cup, Canada more the team that you call you to Canada more hundred thousand dollars. Or the year day. Or the year day. Canada more head of customs of Ghana, Port Nibibia. Because of interest, being the amount of Black Star Management Committee member, the amount hundred thousand dollars for staying with the team for ten days without any. You cannot it's point to any of my white investors in sports. Senegal forces a hundred thousand dollars. No, yeah, the Bema, your former footballers association, no muku. And to your co walk up, be a no man who say, Omokan will be. Your charm of PE teachers, almost your mom will be. No more fun to a mofu tomb, no more fun training or mokro for now. Omon at a ten quadra, I am back or walk up in twenty forty five or forty six. Ghana dia no eye nipa kakra bi na omo call world cup no mo di akire aye ma omo aduane free edan free ye ma omo free money ni asam omo 100000 dollars nti e be wie no nipa ten ne nya ya 1 million dollars ni akocha ba place ni a chama we hwe senegal dia no mo nya maaso national stadium 5 million dollars national training center 3 million dollars this this league 1.5 omo chama obi enye bi asan di bi si stadium at the BC national complexes. And this is an we you know, 10 years time. You know more. So you show Ghana, your training center, Chia Usi Sia. Now we say, you know, you one, the whole Ghana for 33 million people, you one. Senegal for SC3, SC4. SC, the, one of the best stadia in Africa now. But almost some be invested in the national stadium. Now you know, you know, Ghana, your training center, you know, Ghana. Ye training center ni after four world cups after four world cups and tum tum and tafre scorpion mm -hmm. ka obi o ha nya nya nkyere ka footballer wo ha ya mana bie medical association Ghana football association mo medical office association say medical team no o mo ji efe o mo se aha enya fit for enkwada to sleep and yet fit until the end me for a black star place and could after four world cups in nearly 20 years morocco the enemy basso the omu you saw china gun and swing us how millions of dollars yes he and niska funding is our problem you know millions of dollars so yes in a guy in a video you know more than them tanzania for nyabi mauritania for nyabi other than ghana Yama greed and corruption and worship of leadership. Worship of leadership. Aye, yes, ah. Adain. Adain. And yama ni pursuro. Kakra ye be di enti enti min kan. Yako walk up naba. Ye tu eskana to GF account um. Ye si ministry. Emma go ahead. Ministry so enti min hu di e this kanebe ye. Ye si omu hiya approval from ezege. E di ebe ezege ti di emu. Abra ye nim di e si kanebe ba. Ye nya mo bo kura ni enim ebi mo ba be che o musika a start the bo league a chama division 3 
Sport Journalists Association, former footballers, Association of Coaches, PE teachers, and Yabi. Eddie B. Call investment in stadium. Eddie B. Call investment in training complexes. Ghana da sote ya. Ebet said the 206 di ene ira ya no. Ebet said the 2010 si kane ira ya no. Ebet said the 2014 si kane ya huwa di edi ya ya no. 2022 subi. Ye sambe stati another walk up ni afkong. That is how every sector works in Ghana na. Then your guess is a good. I had to pick one country that has gone to the same World Cup that we went, same players that we used, same amount of money, bank account process medium. Now compare what Ghana has done and what we will do with our money. You will see why we have become why we are today. See the Tamale Stadium. See Tamale Stadium. How so folk play there? Just 10 seconds of it. Now, man, for our national stadium in Tamale, see the Tamale Stadium. How so folk come on match all this weekend? <laughs> see the Accra Sports Stadium. Hmm, terrible. When we played Liberia in the international match, see Kumasi Sports Stadium leaking. You see, a problem is funding. Yami Adobe, Yami, Yami, Bobo, Yako, Kobo, Waka, Pami, Amaisika, almost 12 million dollars. See our national stadium in Tamale. See. In 2023, how, how long can we continue to be fools in this country? If we don't compare ourselves and sit here, said here, this morning we have shown you what Senegal have used the same money, the same work up for. We will suffer in future. Our next generation will suffer and curse us in this country. This is our national stadium last Sunday or Saturday. Last Saturday, our national stadium in 2023. And show me a piece of the Tanzania game they played on Sunday. Show me a, a brief piece of Tanzania. Tanzania have never been to the World Cup. Even African Cup is difficult, but they are coming. So you see Tanzania, national stadium, a national league, the same league. They have not gone to the World Cup. They have not got $1 million from the World Cup before. We are nearing $50 million. Individuals have shared it. So you compare the Ghana situation. This is our national stadium. Mm. Only this Saturday where we play football in 2023. And, and show me the Tanzania one. The same Africa. The same Africa. World Cup that World Cup money crada. See, if we don't start some of these things, showing what others are doing, and we sit here get to to Africa, we are the first whatever, we are the first whatever. Ghana will become one big village very soon. Pocket, money Tanzania dey na mame. Muso ma ikina yade. Muso ma mamfu ohu. If we use our mouths to say, people don't believe. Small sector. Small sector. Mm -hmm. Football. We could have changed our country with football. We could have changed, transformed. Anyway, Munya Momamenko na Yantuaso. This is Tanzania. Look at that. This is Tanzania. This is Tanzania. This is on Sunday. You don't call Those them of you who have watched the video I put on Twitter of Tanzania. League. <laughs> digital scoreboard advertising panel digital commentary stadium flavor fair pitch if you watch the video you will cry for ghana we say we don't have money we go to the world cup they're giving you 10 million the same industry go and invest see what others are doing and we sit here because we don't travel and we are villagers. We think Nko will be a form then Tiankwani here we are for. Who they enter now? This is how things will go in the next few years. Everybody will laugh at us. Everybody. Komoros has started. They are beating us. Mm -hmm. We won't even qualify. Very soon. Very, very soon. We will become very deplorable. Very, very dejected people. You're dying, Hona. Discussion, I shall say. Be woman, a Juman, one yeah, no enough you are. 
Send your Munsia was saying in a day. My heart is very heavy this morning because there are a lot of things that have been said about this particular topic, but nobody seemed to care. We are just 25 days or 26 days into playing World Cup qualifiers. I can tell you for a fact, I can emphasize and emphatically tell you for a fact that as at now, it will be very difficult for Ghana to play our home matches here in Ghana. We don't have a stadium of international standard. I know CAF has given Ghana so many windows because of relationship and a Ghana reputation. 